Little Rock police received several reports of gunshots ringing out on New Year's Eve, and tonight, homeowners dealing with the aftermath along with the Little Rock Board of Directors. They're saying enough is enough. THV 11's Ashley Godwin has this report. Listen, listen to World War III out here. People all over Little Rock heard the gunfire on New Year's Eve. In the 12 years that I've lived in this house, not on one occasion has it ever been to that degree. Gwen Combs and her husband live in Hillcrest. They decided to go to bed around midnight until they heard something hit their home. We heard this giant bang on our house. It was a stray bullet. I mean, that must have been really scary for you to see that. It was terrifying. It was scary to hear something hit the house, but to see that it was an actual bullet that hit our house less than 10 feet from where we were sleeping was very sobering. The Little Rock Police Department received more than 1,600 shots fired calls that night with 239 shot spotter activations between 8 p.m. and 2 a.m., something they say is typical for New Year's. LRPD says they had adequate staffing that night, but were kept busy with the call volume. But luckily, no one was injured personally, uh, but property damage uh, cost somebody something. So make the report with us if you did experience that. Make that report with us. Um, and then, you know, get that to your insurance if it's something you're following the insurance. I think it was indicative of a much larger problem than just New Year's Eve. Little Rock Director Ken Richardson wants to see a plan of action that spans past celebratory gunfire on the holidays, not just relying on policing, but educating our neighbors. I think we need to have some intervention with young people and figure out a way to connect with some of them and even adults as well is to get those weapons out of their hands, get them involved with programs. In Little Rock, Ashley Godwin, THV 11 News. Ashley, thank you. Now, the city has an ordinance that prohibits celebratory gunfire. According to the law, if you're caught, you could face a fine of up to $1,000.